Welcome back again to another episode of the Canadian Watch Monkey. And today I've got an unboxing video. This package has finally arrived. It's a eBay purchase. You can see the box has not been opened up yet. Eagerly waiting. I'm not going to lie, the box uh, seems uh, extremely light considering that there's a watch in here, but I guess watches aren't that heavy. But uh, when you get a box like this, you think it'd be a little bit more weighty. But anyway, this is an unboxing video of my newest purchase, and it is an Oris product. I'm not sure if you guys are familiar with the Aquas. Actually, it's not an Aquas. It's called the 1917. And uh, so it's the Oris 1917. And it's got a neat history to it, which I'm not going to get into. Today is just an unboxing video and my first impression to see how I feel about the watch. If I feel that it's kind of a disappointment or... If I really like it and I've done my research I think I'm gonna really like it but until you actually get it in hand it's sometimes uh, difficult to say so anyway um, I'm gonna take this box here open it up for you guys and you'll see my very first impressions of this particular watch and see if I give it a thumbs up or maybe I'm gonna be kind of lukewarm on it I really don't know so let's see what happens all right let's turn this thing around all right, so the camera's flipped around now, and here it is. I'm going to open this sucker up. God, I hope I'm not disappointed. It was not cheap. Uh, all right, so here we go. I'll grab my uh, trusty Leatherman here. Dun, dun, dun. And let's uh, open this up. So, make an incision right here. Just kind of like that. And then this. All right, so here we go. Well, it's definitely well packed. Uh, and this was shipped through the uh, eBay global shipping program, which I'm not crazy about. Like if I wasn't home, they, they actually just left this out on the front door and uh, probably not the best thing to do when you've got something of this value there. All right, so let's get these peanuts out. I don't have to get them out. Oh man, this seems to be messy. All right, so we got lots of peanuts. We got some bubble wrap. Oh, and I see what I'm looking for there. Okay, so here's part of it. And I uh, don't think there's anything in here. Okay, so this is the case. Oh, okay, there's one of the straps. So far, it's looking good. We don't see the watch head yet, though. Okay. And unfortunately, this one uh, didn't come with the original box, so it looks like they they stuck it in here, but I knew that already. Uh, the main thing was it came with the, uh, the travel case. All right. So let's pray to God that this isn't what they sent us, because that would be a big disappointment compared to what it should be. All right. So I'm just going to open this box up. It's definitely well packed, so you got to... Kind of a tacky uh, cloth here made of uh, velour or velvet or something so we'll put that down there and uh, here we go so i'll get this out so this is the watch in question guys let's take a look and see the oris 1917 and this is a reissue all right first impression looks good and you can see it comes with a uh, bunt or bun strap. I don't know how you say it. I think it's bunt. But anyway, you can actually take that off or you got the option of using this strap here. So there it is. Now my first impression so far is, yeah, that's, that's beautiful. Uh, I'll get some close-ups in a minute. And uh, this one's kind of unique too. So you can see here, to, it's a hand wind watch, by the way. You wind it by turning it like this and I and I know through the reviews to change the time it's it's not a pull crown you have to press this plunger here and that gives you the ability to change the time so let's get the correct time here oh. let me press that a little harder so we'll bring that to what time is it here 7 30 so a little more so that seems to be working perfectly fine and then you release it 
and there you go. You can see there's no <clears throat> ticking seconds hand. It would have been nice if it had a sub dial, but I knew it didn't come with that or even a, a seconds hand. That's the one thing that's scary with these watches is that you really don't know if they're running or not uh, or if they've stopped for whatever reason. But here, let's throw this on wrist. You can see it's a, a nice size. It's pretty compact. Uh, today I'm wearing my other Oris, the uh, James Morrison, and uh, I'll let you see that one too. I'll do some close-ups of each in a sec. Like I said, this is more of a quick unboxing. So let's throw this on wrist and see what it looks like on my 7-inch wrist. Uh, okay, one second, guys. Okay. Oh, there we go. Slip that through like that. Yeah, you know what? I'm not going to worry about that one there. So what do you think? I think that fits actually very nicely. It looks great. And you can see it's quite heavily um, rounded. Uh, it's designed after their original one very accurately. So on this, I guess, was a pocket watch at one time design. Yeah, that's a great looking watch. That is definitely a keeper. I can already tell. And it's kind of funny. I would have never thought I would have liked that uh, strap underneath um bunt strap i guess um but it looks good and uh, what i'll do is uh i'm gonna take this off here so you can see the case back and i know the case back is absolutely beautiful on this and it's using the uh oris watch company logo and uh you can see there it's it's a good looking watch but anyway let me zoom up a little bit so you guys can see see the watch a little bit better so well, let me just zoom in so that should do it. So there you go. What do you guys think? Again, this is a limited edition uh, Oris 1917. So it was uh, 1,917 of these made. I'll just quickly, I'll just slowly go around so you guys can take a look at it. I think that's very, very nice looking. So again, Oris Watch Company, their old logo. And the neat thing about this is Oris didn't even know that they had this in their catalog. They had found out about it quite by fluke. And they've got the original one and they replicated it very uh, true to its original form. Bring that up a little closer. I don't know. I just love the way that the uh, <clears throat> numbers uh, kind of distort when you move the watch around. And of course that's sapphire as well and boy is that ever domed okay i'll just show you the other watch that i have here this is a 38 millimeter by the way that's the oris uh, james morrison and that's another limited edition as well as you guys can already tell i'm i'm an oris fan but anyway so that's the uh newest oris in the family the 1917. Uh, what do you guys think? Is that something that you could probably go for? This wasn't an inexpensive watch. I got it considerably cheaper because it was off of eBay and it's used. Uh, but uh, I think the original price on it was a, over 2000 US. And uh, I think it's just a fabulous watch. So anyway, that's a wrap for today. And I hope you guys enjoyed that. I will do a little bit more in depth I review on this watch uh, when I have a little bit of time but I just wanted to show you the live unboxing of the Oris 1917 and I, again I'll just show you the case back one more time I'll see if I can get a little even closer with the camera I'm gonna reach over here okay that's my maximum magnification I don't know I think that's a it's a nice looking dial. But anyway, if you guys haven't already done so, please like and subscribe. I'm getting close to a thousand now. I'd like to make it a thousand and I'm actually planning to do a giveaway uh, once I hit the 1000 mark. Um, yeah, so that's it. That's a wrap. And uh, that's the Oris 1917. Boy, that's a, that's, that's a nice looking dial. All right, guys. Take care. Have a good night.